Hi, well I've just um, acquired a quite a nice saw here actually, it's a Spear and Jackson crosscut saw for logging and it's got a detachable handle that you can have either in the sort of close position for single person use or it can be fixed at the end of the blade for two person use and it just unscrews and you pull the rivet out and slide it in down here so it's quite easy to change where the handle goes. Anyway, terribly rusty when I got it, £9.99 off eBay. I've been cleaning up the rust with a random orbital sander and then just going over it with some more emery paper and I'll get that quite nicely cleaned up and I'll just touch up the teeth. Okay well what I've done I've mounted the saw between two planks of wood in a vise and I am going to just touch over the top of the teeth with a file just get the teeth at the same sort of angle. Now with an ordinary um, woodworking crosscut saw it's quite easy because all the teeth are level and you can just whiz along with the file and get them all into line. With this saw the teeth actually curve so, so you can see there they actually graduate away towards the handle below the plank. So you can buy specialist tools for doing this but all, all I'm going to basically do is put this file, hold it on a piece of wood like that and then just go over going to go to and fro to and fro basically just to try and even off the teeth and here you are looking down on the teeth you can see where they've been topped off well I've been working my way down the teeth now and I've got nice um, sharp points at every sort of tooth so it's going quite well I've been mainly using this triangular quite a large triangular file I'm going to need to go along and just get rid of the burrs along the sides so I'll just use a ticketer or a sharp bit of the file edge and just take those off. A couple of other points just worth bearing in mind. The filing's actually quite noisy <laughs> so I've been wearing ear defenders quite a lot, lot of the time and the other thing of course your hands are moving very close to all these points so I've been wearing some rubber gloves You'll find as you do this, um, you'll soon get to know the sort of way it goes, but essentially the teeth alternate. So the file tilts one way like 11 o'clock, so 5 o'clock to 11 o'clock on a clock face, and then the other way 1 o'clock to um, 7 o'clock direction on a clock face. So it, it just alternates each way. and. Um, You'll soon see it when you actually come to look at the teeth, it becomes obvious which way it goes. But it's worth. So anyway, if you have a go, good luck. I think it is worth trying and um, hopefully we're giving this saw a nice bit of new life. But uh, it's nice to see an old saw getting back to use and it doesn't need petrol and it shouldn't break down. I've got the saw sharpened up now and I'm just giving it a bit of a test and it seems very good indeed. So let's, let's just show you. A nice good cut and I'm getting nice proper little shavings coming off with a saw that sings.